In this video, we'll be learning about methods with multiple arguments. Let's make sure that we're in the MBF dog's header file. And as we've done before, we're going to declare a new method. So I'm going to go ahead and add a return at the end here. And I'm going to write void bark uh, number of times colon int number of times. And we're going to say loudly colon bool is loud semicolon. So notice that this method name is similar to the method name bark a number of times. These two methods are similar and we've added an additional argument at the end and we've said loudly colon bool is loud. And this is the addition. So this is the way we add multiple arguments onto a method. In this case we've added a second argument and the argument name is loud. Here, loudly is part of the select or the name of the method to be executed. The actual method name here would be referred to as bark a number of times loudly. If we want to add additional arguments to our method names, we simply need to add a name, colon, a type, and an argument name. This leads to very long method names, which can be disconcerting to anyone with computer programming experience. However, if you're a beginner, in the long run, this will be very helpful since you will get used to thinking of each argument having its own type and variable name. Furthermore, because of Xcode's autocomplete, these method names will be easily implemented after we have defined them. Notice again, is loud is written so that the user can easily understand that this is a bool or a yes or no value. Now let's go over to the implementation file after we copy our full method name and we're going to go into mbfdog.m and at the very bottom here we can paste in our method name. I can add the appropriate curly braces instead. So now we're ready to define or implement our method. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first write an if statement. And in this if statement we're actually going to use a bang or an exclamation sign in front of the isLoud argument to say if the developer passes in the argument no do the set of logic in the curly braces. So we can write if is loud, or excuse me, is if it is not loud, we can write curly braces here. Actually, I'm gonna put this curly brace here. Incidentally, if the curly you have the curly brace here or you have it here, these are the same thing for the compiler. It just looks a little bit cleaner to have it next to the if statement. When you're writing methods, I think it's really nice to line them up. And some people prefer to line them up, so it's very easy to tell when curly braces are out of line. I just prefer to add it after my if statement. Uh, next, we're going to write a for loop because we want to use our number of times to bark um, a certain number of times dynamically. So we're going to write for int bark is equal to 1, bark is less than or equal to number of times, and we can say bark plus plus and if they're not barking loudly we're going to bark in a soft voice we can say nslog yep yep so that's kind of a, a low bark but let's add an else statement and we assume here that the yes is being passed in right because this is is not loud so it is loud here so the developer has entered yes as its argument and we're going to write a for loop here, and we can write for int bark is equal to 1, bark is less than or equal to number of times. And we can finally write bark plus plus, and we can write NS log, and we'll bark much louder this time, we can write roof, roof. Now let's go back to our view did load, and as and we did in our previous examples, let's try this new method out. So we're going to go to mbfviewcontroller.m and I'm going to go ahead and remove this self print hello world because we don't really need to print that out anymore. And I'm also going to remove the my, dark, my dog bark because we only want to use our new method now and only have that information printing out to our console. So we declared the new method uh, bark number of times loudly inside of mbfdog.h. So in order to access that method, we have to call it on instance or object of mbfdog. Well, luckily we already have an instance of mbfdog and its name is my dog. And I can say bark a number of times. 
And then we see we get both options here, so we can scroll down to the bottom options, because bottom option, because we want to use the loudly option. So we get an autofill here, and remember that we have to remove this blue stuff, and we can simply type a number in here, so we can type five in. And let's first have it bark softly, so we're going to use no, because we don't want it to bark loudly, and we can run our program. And we should see yip yip print out to our console five times. Well, technically it's printing 10, but we have five different lines here, right? And each NSLog statement prints out yip yip twice for us. If I were to switch this to loudly to yes, and I could change the number of bark times to three, I should see three different lines with roof roof. And I can go ahead and run, and we see roof roof prints out three times to my console. So here we've used a method for our dog to perform various behavior depending on what situations we're in. The beauty of taking arguments is that you don't have to write different code for every situation, but you can have one method to account for multiple scenarios.